Boomers just don't get it. My boomer gen family members seem to think work isn't as bad as it is. They think we can easily start a union. That insurance is free when you work full time. That we're given multiple weeks of vacation in a year. And that if we complain, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. To which I respond with, no. The squeaky wheel gets replaced now. The squeaky wheel gets removed but not replaced. Gotta punish the remaining wheels. It's survivor bias. They've never known any different. Their advice was correct in the time they were in the workforce. They're often trying to help, but are just no longer relevant. A lifetime of worldview isn't easy to overcome. So take it easy on them. Just smile and nod and disregard their ignorance. You won't fix them. The Japanese saying is, the raised nail gets hammered down. They also can't conceive someone wanting to retire before 60. It is like your patriotic duty to suffer until you are 65 in order to take one for the team. My boomer mother got screwed at a job she worked at for 30 years. As it was a non-profit, they gave her the bare minimum in benefits and were not required to pay into unemployment. When new management came in and fired everyone on bogus write-ups, she could not even collect. So she gets that part. She still does not get while I own an almost 300k house that is actually smaller than THR family. Home I grew up on or that my little fiat cost over 20 grand when new. She just cannot comprehend how much everything costs today. The best advice my boomer grandpa ever gave me was when he saw my college tuition bill and he told me to never take financial advice from someone that could actually pay off their college tuition with a part-time job. Reminds me of my boomer family that have retired in the last few years. They have seemingly forgot what work even is. They will call me up in the middle of the day at work and ask me to do mundane tasks for them. Fucking bizarre. My dad just constantly tells me that I need to prove myself and impress management, and if I do that, they'll take great care of me. But thanks to regular corporate restructuring, I seldom have the same management two years in a row. They cannot possibly ever agree with our assessment of how much worse things are and how much harder they are now BC it is not compatible with their most important worldview of, we had IT. H-A-R-D-E-S-T-W-E are the U-N-D-E-R-D-O-G-O-U-R hard work and not the economy are responsible for our success. Don't bother arguing with them seriously they will not abandon their worldview. Where did their worldview come from? Their parents actually lived through the depression and world war etc. So they heard and saw a lot of depression era impacts and they internalized it. I imagine it's like most things with boomers. They accept what fits their narrative and toss the rest. My parents are 76 and 67 respectively. I am the youngest of seven kids. My parents are vehemently anti-government assistance and complain about the myth of the black welfare queen and talk about how poor kids all have phones but not enough food, etc. But the second one of my sisters, a single mother, lost her job and needed help. Their first suggestion was to apply for welfare. To be clear, I agreed. That was the best option for her. But I asked my parents. What about welfare being a joke to cheat good hard-working people out of their hard-earned money? And they said, well, people like your sister are who welfare is supposed to be for. It doesn't matter that more white people than black people are on welfare. Or that the data we have shows that the percentage of people cheating the system are in the low decimal percents. Because for a boomer, it's what I believe is right and everything else is wrong. At least the boomers I know. The squeaky wheel gets replaced. 100%.
The boomers don't understand that the world around them is not the same world they entered the workforce in. My boomer mom hates unions and thinks I'm just lazy. No, I've been trying to find a job for damn near a year. But living out in the suburbs with no car has limited me to what I can walk to. You'll always get ahead by kissing the right asses. Kiss them a lot. Learn to say sir. Quote, my silent general parents actually believed this. Is there a reality show which makes boomers apply for their old jobs with the same level of education they had even they first started them? Would be an interesting idea for a show. The lashings will continue until morale improves. Don't sweat it, anything can be fixed with eye contact and a hearty handshake. I think this is pre-boomer time. But back in the 40s, not 100% sure if the time frame, it was downright dangerous to try and unionize. Like get beat, possibly killed dangerous. Not sure really in our history as a pro-company, capitalistic society. It was ever easy to start a union. Born on third, think they hit a triple. Squeaky wheel gets replaced because there is no union. I think so many of them were grandfathered into new plans that they didn't even notice the differences as they happened. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.